Hello and welcome. In this video lecture, we are going to see how to create our own header file in C programming language. So we have seen in many programs how to use a built-in header files. So basically, we include a built-in header file like this hash include we write here name of the header file inside the angle bracket so including the header file means uh, inputting all the functions which are present in the header file in our program so header files are nothing but collection of functions so a header file consists many functions uh, for example stdio.h this is the built-in header file which consists many uh, functions which are used for input output operation and those functions you can see here so these are the functions defined inside stdio.h uh, there are lot of built-in header files available in c programming language conio.h is there math.h is there string.h is there graphics.h is there so we can use all those header files in the program and we can make use of uh, functions which are available in those header files so let's see how to create our own header file in which we will define our own functions and we will make it available to others for their programs so it is very easy to create our own header file so as i have said header file is a collection of functions so inside this header file uh, you have to create a function uh, basically function we write in three step uh, first we declare a function second we define a function and third we call it and when we call a function the function definition actually gets executed so when we create our own header file inside the header file we declare and define a function and we call it from outside or we call it from the location where we use it so in this file now for creating a new header file you just open a new window or oh, just for just we do for writing a new program so here by default it is showing that no name dot cpp and all those things so here you have to start writing your program so in this example i will write two functions uh, in my header file the first function i will write for calculating factorial of a number and second function i will define for calculating cube of a number so i declare a first function int fact uh, the return type of function is int and i will take one argument that is num so i want the function with argument with return type whenever user will call this function user will pass one integer value to this function and this function will calculate factorial of this number and finally result the factorial uh, finally return the factorial second function i will declare int cube and it will be also with one argument this function will receive one number as an argument will calculate the cube of that number and will return it so these two statements are function declaration so like this you can declare n number of functions in your header file after declaring a function you have to define that so i will define a first function that is fact So in definition you have to provide a body and in this definition I will write logic of calculating factorial of a number. So here I write a logic. So for i equals to 1, i less than equals to num, i plus plus, f equals to f into i and finally return f 
so this is the logic of calculating factorial of a number here i have declared one variable f which is initialized by one the loop will execute from one to num and will calculate factorial in f and finally will return that factorial i will define second function int cube int num and cube of number is very easy to calculate i will directly return num into num into num so this will be a cube of a number so both the functions i have defined here and my header file is ready here so i will save this particular file uh, i will save it in location bin you can save it anywhere even you can put the same file in uh, in the folder where all the c header files are present but in this example i am just uh, uh, saving it in bin folder and i will save it by the name uh, my file dot h so remember header file has the extension dot h so you have to save your file by the extension dot h so your header file is created here now i will open a new window where i i have to use this header file my file dot h so here i will write a program hash include stdio dot h hash include conio dot h and i will also include the header file my file dot h and this i will include in double quotation mark so remember uh, here the built-in header files i have included in angle brackets but user defined header file i have included in double quotation marks so you can include header file in two ways either in angle bracket or in double quotation mark here also you can write angle bracket there will be no problem the meaning of uh, these kind of inclusion is when you put double quotation mark uh, in header file uh, it means you want to look uh, your header file in the current directory as well as uh, header file directory which is the default directory of header file uh, like tc dot tc slash lib but when you include header file using angle bracket it means you want to look your header file only in the directory or uh, lib folder where all the header files are present so it will not look your header file in current directory and if your header file is present in current directory that will not get included so it is always good uh, to include your header file using double quotation so it will uh, going to search your header file on both the location in current directory as well as in the actual directory folders so I have already uh, saved this header file in bin uh, folder and in, in in this current program also I am going to save in bin folder. So this header file will be searched there and it will be successfully included. Then I will write main function. Inside this main function I will declare one variable result. I will use clrscr to clear the screen this function is present in conio.h header file and then i will call a function fact i will pass a number 5 now this fact function is present in my file.h this function is going to return a factorial and that factorial i will store in the variable result so Then I will print this result, printf factorial equals to percent d slash n comma result. 
same way I will calculate cube of a number so result equals to I will call a function cube and I will pass a number so both the functions we have defined in my file dot h we have included my file dot h and we are calling the functions which are defined inside my file dot h so that's it get ch to hold a screen again get ch is present in conio dot h printf is present in stdio dot h so i have included these three header files inside this main function i have made i have made use of functions which are present in these different header files so let's compile this program and run it so factorial equals to 120 cube equals to 27 means our header file is successfully included but instead of double quote if you include this header file using angle bracket let's see what happen so in this case it will give you three errors and it will tell you unable to open include file my file dot h function fact should have a prototype cube should have a prototype means it is looking your header file inside the uh, default directories of header file which is which you can see here that is c tur turbo c3 lib or uh, include directory is this c turbo c3 include so if you just copy this header file and place inside this include folder then in you can include my file dot h using this uh, angle bracket otherwise you have to use double quotation mark for inclusion so i hope you understand this concept it is very easy to create our own header file in c programming language if you like this video uh, don't forget to subscribe my channel in future i am going to upload many videos on programmings also i am going to cover many concepts from computer science so just for getting notification of all my videos you subscribe my channel and don't forget to uh, select that bell icon click the bell icon so immediately you will get the notification of all my videos and if you really like this video so don't forget to share it so other will also uh, take benefit of this video so thanks for watching this video